My name is Chevy Williams and I am your health, wellness, and fitness accountability coach. And I help you reach your goals by holding you accountable for reaching them. One way I do that is with these exercise videos. Another way is through my accountability coaching session. So check out the links in this post, <clears throat> excuse me, for, to sign up for your free 15 minute consultation. Now, I would like to, oh yeah, before I forget, let's get excited about today's workout. Now, let me welcome you to day 26. Can you guys believe it? 26. We have four days left of this challenge. I cannot believe it. If you're new to the challenge, welcome to the challenge. Although we have four days left, you can still join us. If you have not done so yet, head over to YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel, LBX Fitness. That way you know when I post the videos and you can do them anytime you want. There's motivational tips up there as well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And also, you can, um, if you fall behind, they're there for you to do. So you can do these videos anytime you want, especially if you need to play catch up. So we are doing two 30 day challenges. We are working our abs and we are working our back along with some secondary muscles. So today I am going to be doing modified versions of these exercises with those of you who are doing the modified versions. So make sure you grab a chair. If you haven't done so yet, I'm gonna finish talking and then I'm gonna grab my chair. Okay, so there's some rules to this, right? Number one, always give 100%. My 100%, your 100% do not look alike and that's okay. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You do your best, which is, tip, uh, which is uh, rule number two, but you do your best, you give 100% and that's all that really matters. Tip, I mean, not tip, but rule number three, take breaks if you need them, right? So it's okay, again, for you not to do what I'm doing. I'm going to take a break if I need one. You take a break if you need one. And take as many as you can or take as many as you need to to finish up the challenge strong. I'm going to grab my chair. my chair here. Now, if you would like to do these exercises on the floor, by here's my mat here, you can still do them on the floor. That is perfectly okay. No big deal. So you do them on the floor or you could do them in the chair with me today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. First things first, let me turn my chair this way, bridges. So if you're on the floor, go ahead and lay on the floor. We have how many bridges today? 20 bridges to do. In the chair, you're just gonna come down and you're gonna lean back like this. You can do it on a bench, a stool. Well, not a stool, like a footstool. <laughs> now, we're doing 20 bridges. We're gonna go down, get comfortable. We're gonna go down and come up. If you want to, you can add weight. So here you can either have on a weighted fast, ankle weights, wrist weights, dumbbell can sit here, or a kettlebell. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started, 20. Down, up, squeeze, one. Two. Now today we are doing all exercises. Three. Make sure you're breathing out. Five. So when you go up and squeeze, you breathe out. Six. Right there. Seven. If you're on the floor, slightly touch your butt to the floor. Nine. No sassy. Ten. No sassy. One, we're over halfway, right? Two, you're gonna feel this in your lower back. Three, but squeeze your glutes. Four, get those hips high. Five, as high as you can get them. Six, we have four left, right? Four, three, breathe you guys. Two, take a break if you need to, last one. Whoop, whoop. Great job. Now we're gonna come out of that position. Next is our bird dog. We have 17 bird dogs to do. On the chair, you place your hands down on the seat. You're gonna bend one knee slightly. The other leg is gonna come up. 
It's going to look like this. Now, if you cannot do the bird dog, then you can just leave your leg here, take it as high as possible. Okay. If you want to work on your balance, then you just take out the opposite arm and you hold this position or this position until we finish with the bird dog. Okay. So bird dog is taking the opposite arm and leg and bringing them in to crunch. We have 17 to do each leg. Let's get started. Here we go. In one, two, three. Make sure you guys are breathing four when you crunch. Five. If you're just in the regular position holding it, six. Abs are tight. Seven. Ten left. Let's go. Ten. Make sure you guys visit my website. Nine. www.leadingbyexample.us Seven. Six. Sign up for your free 15-minute consultation. Five. Breathe. Four. Squeeze tight. Take a break if you need to. Three. Uh, two. I feel this in my lower back. <laughs> One. Great job, everyone. Now I'm just going to do opposite arm and leg. I'm just going to stay in this position. So my leg's going to sleep there. Here we go. Leg up. Knee slightly bent. In. One. Remember, take a break. Two. If you only can do five, that's okay. Three. If you need to take a break after two, four, that's okay too. And just jump back in. Five, I want you guys to do your best. Give 100%. Six, can't reach your goals by not putting in the work. Seven, we've got 10 left, let's go. 10. Breathe. Nine. Here we go. Eight. We got this. Seven. Six. Do you feel this? Oh my gosh. Five. Four. Three. Get those legs up. Legs up. Two. Leg up. Last one. Great job, everyone. Okay. Last exercise is going to be Superman. We got Superman three times. 15 seconds each time. I'm going to come down on the chair. Move it back just a little bit. Superman, so you get on the floor. On the chair, you're just going to lay across the chair like this. You're going to place your hands beside, right by your chest or right on the chair. Lift your legs up as high as you can get them. And then you can also lift your arms up or leave your um, arms by the chair. On the chair, your hands on the chair. All right, you guys, so... Let's get ready to start now. 15 seconds. Seven. Oh, I'll put my laptop over here soon. 10. Oh, we only have five seconds. Time's up. Okay. Take a small break. You can, you know, do like this. Stretch out your lower back. Let me get the timer. Okay, let's go for round number two. And what I'll do is I'll show you how you can just keep your hands right here and you lift your legs up only. Okay, let's get ready to go. Start. So you can just do this. Chest up, legs up, and you're breathing. Breathe. That's time. Okay, so, Diane, no. Okay, so we got one more round, then we're finished, right? Okay, so, we're gonna lay here, on the floor, in the chair. 
You also place your hands on the floor and lift your legs if you would like to. No, lady. Okay, so let's get started. Long enough break. Let's go. There we go. Now you can put your feet down and only do your arms like that. This may be harder for some of you, but you can do it this, this way as well. All right. Woo, my lower back. Oh, all right, you guys. So we are done with today's back challenge. Now it's time for our abs. I'm gonna sit in this chair. We have 35 crunches to do. So if you're on the floor, you know, you can always um, change your leg position, feet on the floor, legs straight in the air, bent knees, uh, feet a few inches off the floor, lower back stays on the floor. Everybody takes their hand, place them behind their head. We all want to pretend like there's an apple or a tennis ball right here between your chin and chest, and we don't move our head at all. Do not do this and pull on your neck. Shoulders are back, elbows are back, excuse me. And here we go, feet flat on the floor, let's go. Crunch in, crunch. Breathe out, come up. Down, up, or in, that's two. Here we go, three. Now every time you crunch, breathe out, four. Again, do your best, five. Six, go, seven. Now you see in the chair, I have a little pause when I crunch. Eight, your chin should not be touching your chest. Nine, nor should it move from this position. 10, great job everyone, let's go. One, go, breathe, two. You guys are doing great, three. Four. Now you may feel this also in your lower back. Five. Six. Now, if you have back issues, please do not do these. Seven. Go. Eight. Always listen to your bodies. Nine. And 20. All right, you guys. So I have also let you know what the August challenge is going to be. So hope you guys are joining us. Three, we're working inner thighs, four, breathe out, five, and working those arms, six, seven, keep going, we got, y'all are doing really good, eight, look how far we've come, nine, guess what, we now have five left, we can do this, let's push out strong, go, one. So we'll only have three days. Two. Oh my gosh, this is going by so fast. Three. Then I have a special announcement when we finish. Four. Soon as we finish. Five. There we go. Our crunches are now done. Now, next is heel touch. We have 35 heel touches to do. If you're when we're sitting in the chair doing the modified versions, we're not doing the heel touch. We're not gonna come forward and try and touch our heels. We're just gonna go side to side like this, okay? So, I'll try not to go so fast. Um, oh no, yeah, because those on the floor doing heel touch, you can go a little bit faster than us. So here we go, let's get started. 35, go, one. Now each time you breathe out, three. When you twist or you go over, right? Four. Five. Now those on the floor, you're going to feel this. Six. Seven. Don't lean forward or lean back. Eight. Nine. Ten. This is what it looks like from the side. Eleven. Twelve. And walk up a little bit. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, breathe, 17, 18, 19, this is 20, good job, 1, 2, 3, I can feel this too, 4, 
Good job. Five. Take breaks if you need to. Six, especially if you're on the floor. Seven. I'll be back on the floor tomorrow. Eight. Nine. Five left. Let's push. Five. Go. Four. Push through. Three. We got this. Two. Last one. Great job, everyone. Guess what? We have one last exercise to do for today's workout. It is plank. We got 65 seconds to do our plank. I'm going to grab the timer here. I'm going to put it here on my chair. I'm going to give us 65 seconds. So if you're on the floor, you can go on your knees or you can be on your hands or your elbows. If you're using the chair, you can use your hands or you can go on your elbows using the chair. Now, again, even with this, just take breaks if you need to. Just You'll just step up or you can lay down on the floor or go to your knees if you're on your hands and elbows and take a break. Here we go. Everybody in that position? And let's get started. So we got... 65 seconds to go. This right here is your position on the chair. Abs are tight. Don't sink your back down. Don't do this. Abs up and tight. And you guys, we're breathing through. So breathe. Again, make sure you visit my website, www.leadingbyexample.us. So you can sign up for your free 15-minute consultation if you click the store link, in the store you will see my book, Who Needs a Gym? Using Social Media for Weight Loss. Make sure you guys purchase the book. Purchase it from the website. It's also on Amazon, Books a Million Online, and also Barnes & Noble Online. But ordering from my website gets you an autographed copy. You guys know what that noise means. Guess what? We're now done. We are now done with today's workout. Great job, everyone. So proud of you. We have come a very, very long way from the beginning. What we are doing today, we wouldn't have been able to do on day one. So here's my special announcement. August is my birthday month. August 30th to be exact. Um, so for the month of August, I am having a completely um, different kind of challenge don't have to join. I'm not going to put it into a group, I don't think. So for my birthday, for 29 days, no junk food, two days out of the week, we, I will be eating vegetarian meals only. So this actually helps me to get to my goal of eating only five days of vegetarian meals come October. But for the month of August, eating two days only vegetarian meals and no junk food until my birthday. So... If you want in on that, some of you have said, yes, I want to do that with you. I'm excited. I'm excited I'm not doing it by myself because now I have people that will support me. I will support them. And I need some accountability not to eat any junk food at all for 29 days. And I, I think I'll do okay with the two days only doing vegetarian meals. Okay, you guys, we are done. Make sure you check out the links in this post for your free offers. Again, visit my website www.leadingbyexample.us For more great health, wellness, and fitness tips on the website, go ahead and sign up for your free 15-minute consultation with me where I give you several tips on how you can reach your goals. I will see everyone tomorrow. We got three days left. Only three more. Be strong. Let's push it out. Let's work it out together. Bye, everyone. Keep pushing on